Hey, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to this week's vlog. That collagen. This is from the mask. Right? Wearing a mask. Right here, right there, right there. But, let me put y'all back a little bit. Um, but that collagen, I really feel like it's working. Like, I really do. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I think I'm going to switch up to the other brand of collagen that has, I believe it's um a calorie burner or fat burner, something like that. But I've been seeing an ad on Instagram. Y'all, I just washed my face. And I don't know. I think it's working. <laughs> what y'all think? I think it's working. Welcome back to the vlog. So, nothing too much been going on this week. Just for it. <laughs> to tell you the truth. Um, I did get an Ipsy package. Ooh, it's upside down. I did get an Ipsy package this month. So I am going to share with you guys in a minute. Y'all, let me show y'all how much collagen I have drank. And I'm loving it so far. I think it's a difference. So I have probably about, let's see, I have this much left. Here's the line right here. So I've taken all of this. I honestly, I really don't know if the collagen powder is working the way that it should or the results that I'm seeing because I've been drinking a lot of water with lemon and cucumbers or just water per it. So honestly, I really don't know. But I do want to get the collagen with the fat burner in it. So that's my next order. I'm going to order that today. Because I want to try something different. And they do come in flavors as well. So, yeah. Let me open up this Ipsy um, subscription for this month. All right, y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to this week's vlog. So, it is the next day. Uh, y'all, first let me share this with you guys. As I mentioned before, in the last clip, my Ipsy um, package came. Let's see what we got this month. If I can get the bag open. I hope you're having a great day. It is nice outside, I must say. Okay. They keep forgetting to put the um paper with the prices in here. I might have to give them an email. Or, oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Look. Get ready to... Get ready to go off. Okay. So, we got three, four, five items. Well, six. Because I always count the actual bag. The cosmetic bag. This is cute, but I think I got this already. Oh, it has a little rose gold... um. Ipsy thing right here. I think I got this already. I'm gonna have to check, but this is cute. I like it. I like the color. So, y'all, let's see what we got this month. I'm a little excited. Let me put this stuff in order because, um, hold up. Yes, that. All right, so, this is a liquid eyeliner. And it's by, oh, Jean T. Blue, J O N T E B L U. Jean T. Blue, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. So let me um open this up. Now, does it say how much it usually costs? Hold up, this this little pamphlet it used to be helpful, but it's not helpful as it used to be because it's not giving any prices. 
Um, okay, so, okay, here we go. The full size for this liquid eyeliner is $9. $9. All right, I gotta see what this look like. This this better be, I can't get it open. This better be the creamiest, waterproof eyeliner ever. All right, y'all know, I. if I would've seen this in the store, I wouldn't have paid $9 for this. I would've went over the wet and wild. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth, I'm gonna talk like it is. My nails are so messed up, y'all. I'm going to go get my nails done. Um, I can't even get stuff open no more. Oh, okay. So here go the... Here it is right here. Y'all can see it. And I think it's in black. Is it in black? Okay, it don't give a color. I'm going to put it on my hand. Let's see. Let's see what color it is. Oh! Like a magic marker. Look at that. That thing. Oh, you gotta know what you're doing when you use these markers, especially if you're doing a cat eye. You better be careful. Okay, so that's the first item. The second item, which I'm excited about because I just ordered the um, I think it's the body spray. This is Coco Cabana Cream. Now, the same makers of the Bomb Bomb Cream, I don't know if y'all familiar with that, but that's the latest thing. That thing will have you smelling good and it's creamy. It's really good for your skin. So, let's see what this one is about. This one, ooh, this smell good. Ooh, this is a Coco Cabana Cream. This smells really good, y'all. And this is a nice, I think, trial size, considering. And now, this is stating that this was $45. Where? I think this was Amazon for like this size for like maybe 20, if that. Okay, Ipsy. All right. I'm I'm, I'm rock with you. Y'all know why I rock with her. You know why. All right. So here go the next item. Now this is a glow lip mask. Now this may be, it's hibiscus. So this probably what I need or we need when we wear those masks all the time to protect our lips. I've been using chapstick, but I notice I still get my lips still get dry. So hibiscus balmy. It's really balm, like lip balm. Um, glow lip mask. Let me see how to smell and how creamy it is. Okay, let's see. I can't. I'm gonna have to cut it with the. Got that little aluminum foil on there. Oh, it's tinted. Oh. All right. Say goodbye to chat lips with this hydrating leave on treatment that truly gives lips up to its name. Okay, so let me. It smell good. It smell like it's edible. Okay, let me put a little bit on my lips. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta take all the aluminum off. You might have that little foil part. Okay. Y'all like this. Mm-hmm. I like it. I likey, likey. It tastes good, too. I hate when you put stuff on your lips that's like medicine-y, like, or menthol, or whatever. I don't like that. So that is this, and this retails for $25. It feel good, though, y'all. It feel real good. All right, that's that item. The next item is called the Unfoundation Matte Foundation and Praline Medium. Now, I don't recall doing a um, skin color um, survey, whatever you want to call it. I don't recall doing it. I may have done it, but I don't know. So let me put this on my skin and see how it looks on my skin. Let me rub it in a little bit. It might match. It feel good though, y'all. Oh, it's nice and creamy. I like this. 
unfoundation matte tint. <gasps> so it's like a tint. So it's probably, it will probably look more natural. I like this. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Okay, I'm gonna try this. So this size right here, this version, is $14. Now, y'all know I'm going, if I like this, I'm gonna try it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna try it tomorrow. Um, if I like this, I'm going to go on Amazon and see if I can find the regular size and see how much that costs because right now, that's feeling good. I like it a lot. Alrighty, this is the last item. Anastasia Dip Brow. What? Okay, they're getting fancy. I hope y'all can see that. Ipsy getting fancy. You know, I... I love all the Anastasia's reviews here on YouTube, but I was like, I ain't paying that money. I hope this is the right color. It don't say. All right, let me open it up. It looks like it's a dark brown. Yeah, I'm using the scissors for everything because my nails is like, shut the shimmy. Shut. All right, so here go the, that's it, okay. Here go the size that they give you. Anastasia, Anastasia, I like that name, Anastasia. Oh, okay, it's like a dark brown. Hmm, I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, I'm gonna start using this for a minute. And it's definitely a dark, dark brown. Well, I guess it's closer to like a brown black. I think that's what they when we call it. This is nice. Okay, so now this size, Retails for $20. Okay. Thank you, Ipsy. Thank you. All right. So that is the month of May's Ipsy um, unbagging. Now, I, I, I can say I really... I'm going to use all the items this month. I really can say that. And of course, as y'all know, I go crazy over these little bags. I have these in every handbag. I love them. They are so convenient. Matter of fact, do I have? Okay, this is the one that I thought, this is what I'm currently carrying in now. And this is the one that just came. But um, yeah, I love these. And then they, you can just wipe them off. They're just so doable. Okay? Okay. Now, y'all, I want to show y'all what I did. Okay. Now, I don't, I think it was the last vlog or the vlog before that. I can't remember. But as y'all know, I, I am a connoisseur of tattoos. I love tattoos. So I was wearing that temporary tattoo on my arm for, it lasted almost two weeks. Now, it said it's supposed to last two weeks, but it didn't. I think I was like two days short of two weeks. So maybe 12 days instead of 14. Okay. So y'all, I went and got a real tattoo yesterday. And it hurt, y'all. <laughs> I thought that because of the area that I chose that it wouldn't hurt because my other ones, my other two did not hurt at all. Um, my very first tattoo, which is on my lower part of my back. Yes, you can call it a tramp stamp. <laughs> um, that one hurt like heck, like that almost took me out of here. Okay, it was painful and it's not even that big, but it all depends on the type of needle that they use. I really, now that I look back, I think that artist was really trying to hurt me. Seriously, because all, all, not unless technology or the tattoo industry has found a better way so that people won't be in pain so much. But anyway, this tattoo did not hurt. This one didn't hurt. My lower one did hurt. Now, I'm going to show y'all the one I got yesterday. So, hold on. Now, without showing y'all all my goodies, <laughs> here's the tattoo that I got yesterday. It's on my arm. I, I can't pull up so much because then you'll see everything, but here it is. This is just to give you a look. 
and I love it. I love it. It was a two hour session. And when I tell y'all, at first I was a champ, okay? I was a soldier. But when he got up here where it's less fat than down here, y'all, I like to die. I was like, what happened? Did you change the needle? He was like, no. I was like, you about to kill me. I felt like, I felt like my arms were fall off. I, I really did. I felt like my arm was about to fall off. Like I just had to, I had an out of body experience where I had to separate myself from my arm in order for me to make it through to the last 20 minutes. The last 20 minutes was the worst. And that's when he did the top part. And y'all down here was fine. It was fine. When he got up here, I thought I had died. I did. I thought I had died. But y'all, I love how it looks. It is it's elegant. It's not too small. It's not too big. This is what I wanted. This is the look that I was going for. So I finally, we pieced together a picture, a couple of pictures together to make this one tattoo. So he is definitely a trooper. If you're in the DMV area, check out Dream Team Tattoos. His name is J. Tattoos. He's on Instagram. So if you are interested you live in the area. He does amazing work. I will not have anybody else do my tattoo work but him. Okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, as you know, I'm still on a mission to get rid of some pur purge some clothes. Because I'm just sick of it. You know, I'm just, I'm tired of having a lot of things to choose from and I'm tired of not being able to see all my clothes so I'm in the process of doing that I want to be as minimalistic as possible when it comes to my wardrobe so that's what I've been working on slowly but surely and I already got rid of probably three bags yeah about three bags and I'm about to get rid of some shoes now I have two great big Oh, excuse me. I have two huge totes downstairs. Oh. <laughs> totes downstairs of shoes that I am really going to go through today when I get back from lunch. Um, <laughs> When I get back from lunch. So, because I'm going to run out real quick. And that's about it for this week um i do have a couple of, couple of diy projects coming up and as far as the living room is concerned the items that i order are not here yet and i am so pissed off i am trying to give ups a break usps well no ups i'm trying to give ups a break so i'm waiting on that um and then i'll do the living room revamp redo whatever you want to call it i'll post that probably in next week's vlog to be honest with you guys <sighs> this has been a busy busy week like so much has been going on and i just want to declutter everything because for me my space has to be clutter free in order for me to really operate the way i know i can so that's what i'm doing mm, i gotta put my ring on and y'all, look at my nail. Now, I just got my nails done. Look at that. Look how it's lifting. I will never go to that nail salon again. I felt like she was rushing me. I felt like she really didn't want to service me. And, you know, it really, my tip amount really showed her that I'm not coming back. Because I usually tip my manicures, my tattoo artists, um, hairdressers. I normally tip them nice because I really appreciate them. And I know how it is. I was in the industry, so I know how it is as far as hair is concerned. Or be a public servant, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm doing that. I've been still exercising, but not every day. I went roller skating a couple of times. I did not get any footage, so forgive me for that. But it was just too crowded. It was just too much going on. Just too much, y'all. You know, when I get out there, I'm like in my own little zone. That's just how I do. It's a stress reliever for me and also a great cardio workout. 
Um, I did roller skate outside at a um, tennis court and then, well, actually I went running first and then I went to roller skate for just to practice my turns or whatever, but couldn't get footage on that because I couldn't hold the camera while I was doing it. So I've still been active. I, um, I don't know, you guys, I think that is about it. I'm going to go get this nail fixed because my nail, my finger hurt. Like I can't, I can't do nothing. So... I'm a little disgusted. I know if I go back to the lady that, well, the nail shop that I went to, I know they're not going to give me a discount, you know, because it's like, oh, it's been a week. No, I normally get my nails done once a month. I'm not an every week person. Nobody needs to get fillings every week. So that's the story. I know I'm, she's going to try me. So I don't even want to go there. I'd rather just go somewhere else. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, What else? What else? What else? That is about it, you guys. So, yeah, I'm going to catch you guys probably in a few. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So, I went and got my nails done. I'm back. <laughs> and this is what I got. He actually cut them down a little bit more than what I would want, but my nails go fast. So, I ain't worried about it. So, I'm going to close out this week's vlog. Whew, I know it's all over the place, you guys. You have to excuse me. A lot was going on. But, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you in next week's vlog.